just whipped together a quick project. I thought it might be cool to display the number of project stars of Home Lab or whatever project I'm working on on stream and have it updating live. Morning. Top of the morning. So I am going to do that real quick. I don't think it'll take long. I checked out GitLab's API, and so we'll just do that again. GitLab API. We'll just have to search for that. And I'm going to make a real simple bash script here. I'll go ahead and make a... I guess I can just put it in the existing coding stream project rather than making a separate project for it. Um, so let me open that up. All right, um, yeah, we'll just do it in here. Maybe even in the update labels? Nah, we'll make it a separate one. First, actually, I should probably rename this. This is update, well, see, it's even overloaded. This does time, updates the time in the bottom right of the screen, and then updates the now playing over there. Um, I should probably break them apart, have separate scripts for each one, keep it cleaner. But um, here, we'll just make a new one. Update GitLab labels.sh. And I'm just going to grab this as a good starting point. Um, grabs GitLab star counts. So all we need to do, GitLab doesn't require you to authenticate for their API if you're just hitting the public stuff, which is super nice. So all we want to do is get the project, get a project. So project APIs. Um, I think it was, eh, that might not have been the right button. Here we go. Projects. Okay, so slash projects. And I think I can get them by user. Uh, or I guess I could just pass it the project ID directly. Um, let's see here. I should have kept better notes. I figured this all out the other day, but this is how you uh, deal with API. Let's just check this one out. Yeah, so list projects. Yeah. So list user projects. Uh, we could even do get single project, I guess. And we'll just pass the ID. URL encoded path of the project. Oh, project ID. Cool, so I can just go into Home Lab OS, grab its project ID, and then I should be able to just do, I think it's really just curl api.gitlab.com projects, and then that project ID. Nope. Um, it might be just gitlab.com, no API. Never being redirected. Um, right, so go back to the start of the API stuff here. And it should have a basic, yeah, there it has a basic example, I think. Right here, yeah. Oh, slash API slash v4. That's the bit we're missing. Plug that in here. And there we go. So we have this little tool called JQ. I think I told you about it last time. Nice little command line JSON formatter. So we can see, boom, there's our star count, 506. So we'll pass it to JQ and access. On here, let me move this guy so you can see what I'm doing. JQ dot star count. Now we'll tell curl, um, there's an option to tell it to not Dash S. So there we go. That gets us our uh, star count. How long was that? Not very long, I'll tell you that. So we'll say um, Echo. What do I want to say? Uh, Home Lab OS stars. 
and then and that and then we write that to our can I just do this dot slash uh, yeah I'd rather do this dot slash GitLab star count dot txt save that so now I should be able to run well, I'll have to gmod it first update GitLab labels dot slash update GitLab labels oh no, not quite. Um, I want. I guess. Oh, so this. I should be doing like this. Let's try that. Nope. Hmm. I guess I can just assign this to a variable ahead of time. Uh, oh, right. I need this inside of this function. Making a simple bash script here, guys, on Friday morning. All right, so if I check out the GitLab star count, there we go, 506. So now I can uh, pull up my little streaming software here. But there we go. <laughs> Doesn't quite match, but there is a live updating star count now on the uh, bottom of the stream. So if I go back over here to GitLab and click star, boom. There it goes up. Nice. Um, I should probably tone this down <coughs> from every second so GitLab doesn't... Uh, Tell me to go sit in the corner. We'll say every 30 seconds for now. Let's see how that does. Cool. Um, so that's uh, that's that. That's how you write a simple API script to integrate with GitLab.